I bought three gigs on Fiverr to create brand new profitable Shopify stores for me. Then I bought tons of TikTok ads. We're going to see if this is an easy way to start a successful Shopify business or if this is just too good to be true. We ended up buying three different price ranges with a low, medium, and high budget to see if these prices have an effect on how profitable each store is and how professional the stores look. So let's jump right into the video. For reference, I tried starting three Shopify stores over the last three years. I even generated over several thousands of dollars in sales, but I never made a profit with any of them. For the longest time, I had an idea. Why not pay Shopify expert to create my very own store, pick winning products, and let that easy money start coming in. And that's exactly what I did over the last several months. In this video, I bought three services on Fiverr to create a Shopify store for me. I bought a low, middle, and expensive gig to see which one would provide the best store and more importantly which one would generate the best profit I then use TikTok ads to advertise my three stores and their products let's see how much I got in sales and how much profit I made with each one I will go into the financials for each store with the cost revenues and total profit for the first gig I wanted the budget to be around $50 or less I ended up finding the freelancer Shopify place that had incredible reviews on his gig offering a high converting Shopify dropshipping store, which is exactly what we are looking for. Looks like the freelancer also has several years of experience creating Shopify stores and mentioned that his stores generated anywhere from zero to $10,000 a month. He had three different packages. The one I wanted to go with was a standard package that had 20 products, but the only thing was it was out of my budget. Luckily, the freelancer was willing to negotiate with us and we secured the package for $50. After purchasing the gig, it's really easy to tell the freelancer some basic information so then you can get started right away. I just filled out what the store name, color combination, and what niche I wanted it to be in. Then two days later I got my Shopify store, it was created, and this is what I received. Overall I have to say that I was pretty impressed with the Shopify store. It is very simple and clean. You have the tabs up on top so you can easily see what products are for sale on the store. It even comes with an order and a tracking page. And the actual listings are very simple and you can easily switch between different items. One thing to point out though, it did not have any description for the products or any written words, which I thought it was kind of odd, but overall I was very happy with the Shopify store. Now that we have our Shopify store all set to go, it's now time to create the TikTok ad so then we can bring in our potential customers into our new Shopify store. I ended up going with this company that I used in the past and I've been using it several times now and it's called Bands Off Ads. You can create the videos yourself if you want to save some money, but I know they provide great quality videos and it saved myself a handful of hours if I were to create it myself, plus it'd probably be poor quality. So I ended up buying the TikTok TikTok ad package for $120 for the three different ads that we're gonna use. After receiving our ad, we then uploaded it to TikTok and we're looking to spend around $30 a day for the next 10 days or so. In total, we spent $263 on TikTok to advertise our product to get people to go to our website. We had over 106,000 impressions with over a thousand clicks on our TikTok page, which resulted in 588 people checking out our Shopify store. You can expect around a 1.4 conversion rate on the people that actually check out your store so which would have resulted in about eight people or so actually buying our product but in reality we actually received a grand total of zero dollars in sales even worse only five people actually added it to their cart so all in all we spent fifty dollars for the store forty dollars for the video ad twenty nine dollars for the shopify store for the month and spent $263 on TikTok to generate ads for $0 in sales, which means we lost $382 with the Shopify store. The more expensive gigs have to have better results than this. For the second gig, I really wanted to step up my budget. After all, it takes money to make money, right? For this middle budget, I wanted to spend $200 or less. After doing some research on Fiverr and looking at reviews, I came across the freelancer named Abinamin. What really stood out to me, besides his 500 five-star reviews, was the title saying that he can make a six-figure dropshipping store and his previous clients included major brands such as Shopify. With over nine years experience in Shopify website design, it seemed like a no brainer to go with him. I decided to move forward with his standard package, which included a premium design, 15 products, 
live chat, and email marketing setup. This freelancer sent me a message about the product research that he did that were all sourced from a reliable US vendor, which I thought was extremely helpful. Four days later, my Shopify store was created and this is what I received. Overall, I thought the second Shopify store was very cleanly designed and everything was nicely laid out. It had a few other perks on the homepage, such as the banner up on top here. It had a discount wheel and also a notification bar. Overall, it's very easy to navigate to see the different stores. There's even an About Us page, FAQs, and then a place to track your orders. Overall, I was very happy with the Shopify store, and it even has product descriptions, so I have no complaints with this store. After the TikTok ads were live for eight days, we spent a grand total of $232 on ads. We had over 75,000 impressions and over 830 clicks on the TikTok page, which resulted in 490 people checking out our second Shopify store. And in total, we received a grand total of zero sales again. So we spent $165 for the store, $40 on the video ad, $29 on the Shopify store, and spent an additional $232 on TikTok ads to generate $0 in sales again, which means we lost $689 with the second Shopify store. And to be honest, at this point, I was pretty disappointed since we already spent so much money, but I had high hopes for a third and most expensive Shopify store. For the third and final gig, I made sure to go for the really expensive gig, basically ensuring that more money would solve us finally generating a profitable store or at least generating some revenue at this point. With this high budget, I wasn't holding back. We set our budget up to $500 and I plan on getting the best out of the best freelancers to make us a profitable Shopify store. After doing some research, we came across this freelancer named So Sonrish and she nearly had a thousand reviews at an impressive 4.9 rating. Plus her main picture said the seven figure Shopify store, so I'm sure she'll be able to help us generate a profitable store. Plus, her previous stores, in my opinion, look super professional and I assumed had a lot higher conversion rate than the other stores that we actually received for the first two stores, which was exactly what we needed at this point since we weren't converting on the either two stores previously. Her description mentioned turnkey store, lifetime support, 100% satisfaction, which all seem to be very reliable. Since this is a high budget with no expenses were spared with us getting to a profitable store, we ended up buying the premium package for $335. This package included 100% results, winning results, fast suppliers, and advanced SEO. With a few simple clicks and a quick questionnaire, we were able to get our third and final store underway. After five days, we received our final store and I have to say, the initial impressions were great. It looked super professional and clean. Out of the three Shopify stores, I thought the third and final one ended up looking the most professional. Now it is a little bit different. It is in the fitness and not the pet industry. And that's because it was actually suggested to by the actual freelancer on Fiverr. So that's what we decided to go with here. But overall, very easy to navigate easy to see what products you have available and it looks like it's mostly designed for the mobile app which is preferred since we're gonna be doing all of our advertising through TikTok. Let's hope this translates to an extremely profitable store. After the third TikTok ad being live for 10 days we spent a total of $196 to receive about 15,000 impressions or about 104 clicks on our TikTok page which resulted in 162 people checking out our Shopify store and we finally got a sale. In total, we received a grand total of one sale for a total of nearly $48, which would mean we would have a gross profit of about $25 per push-up board from the revenue we collected, minus the actual cost of the goods and shipping. So all in all, we spent $335 for the store, $40 for the video ad, $29 for the Shopify store, and spent $196 on TikTok ads to generate $48 in sales and $23 for the cost of goods, which means we ended up losing $575 on this third and final Shopify store. So all in all, was buying a Shopify store on Fiverr a guaranteed way to start a profitable Shopify store and a new passive income stream? Absolutely not. And even though I had only one sale out of the three stores and I actually ended up losing $1,646 to do so, do I actually think this was a complete waste of time and money? After spending some time reflecting, I had to actually say no. 
even though I have started three Shopify stores in the past and these three additional stores actually taught me a lot. Each of these freelancers created stores a little bit different and I was able to ask them a lot of questions to learn from them. Plus, this was a great hands-on learning where I don't think I could have learned this much if I were to just pay some money for a course instead. At the end of the day, this is a step in the right direction to creating a highly profitable Shopify store. Tell me down below in the comments if you have ever created a Shopify store and was it actually profitable? If you learned anything in this video or just appreciated me risking thousands of dollars to create this video so you could learn, please smash that like button and subscribe. If this video gets 200 likes, I will pay for a Shopify expert to update one of these stores and I will do whatever it is necessary to receive at least $5,000 in sales.